Peace and blessings. Welcome back to the channel once again, where we talk all things health and healing from a holistic perspective. And today will be no different. Today, I'm going to share with you a miracle recipe. As you can see, I'm in the kitchen. Okay. And I always tell you guys, our kitchen is our medicine cabinet. Now, if we start to go in our kitchen and look, look around and we're not finding foods that come from the ground, then you need to start tossing those foods out. Okay, and so what I'm going to share with you today is a miracle recipe. And what makes it a miracle is not only is this recipe good at fighting off dis-ease, it is actually really good at preventing dis-ease as well, too. And here's the other really beautiful thing about the recipe. There's only three ingredients with an optional fourth ingredient. Okay, now I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you. It could be a little bit difficult finding these ingredients and maybe we can help you out at iheartfruitbox.com. As you guys know, I own a tropical fruit farm and on that tropical fruit farm, we grow things that do not typically grow anywhere here in the U.S. And it's mostly tropical fruit like soursop, mame, um, you know, mangoes, bananas like burro bananas, um, kamito, sapodilla a.k.a. Naysberry, um, and the list goes on and on and on. Lychee, uh, Longan, uh, Rolinha, uh, Acerola or Barbados cherry, uh, avocados. I can go on and on, okay? So we have, we have a tropical fruit farm. So if you want to check that out, you can get a few of these ingredients there, okay? And before I jump into what the ingredients are and how much you use, understand this. I'm always saying that food is medicine. Now we're actually having a conversation to help you understand how food can be medicine. Now, what I don't often don't sort of communicate when you hear the statement, food is medicine, food could be either be medicine or it could be the highest form of poisoning. Okay. So it could be the highest form of healing or it could be the deadliest form of poisoning. Okay. Depending on what you consider food. Okay. Because for nature, the, the definition of food has never changed. It has always remained what it is and always will be. But when you walk into the supermarkets today, 90% of the food that you see in the supermarket, the vast majority of it is food products. And food products are not the same as real food. Okay? And so I want to make that distinction and hope you guys understand this first. And then secondarily, understand this. No matter how much a miracle a food can be, medicinal foods, fruits, um, you know, veggies, nuts, seeds, herbs, etc., they can't work unless you do. You got to put in the work, okay? So you can't have a horrible diet, a standard American diet, and then once in a while consume something that is medicinal for you and hope to get the benefits. Uh, is going to be counterintuitive to each other. They're not going to work together. Okay. So please understand that before we jump into this. Okay. And then the other thing I'll say is the only thing that you're going to need to be able to make this recipe is a high powered blender. Okay. You're going to need a blender. All right. So this is my baby. And whenever I'm ready to make a smoothie, make a sauce, even make a soup, I can use this high power blender. So you're going to need a high power blender to be able to make this recipe. Now, the other thing I want to mention is this. If you feel apprehensive about getting into the kitchen, trust me, this is where changing your health begins. Okay. So if you want to truly change your health, you have to start here in the kitchen. You got to start with your, your forks and your spoons. Okay. Because our forks and our spoons, uh, unfortunately, what's digging a grave for us today. All right. So with all that being said, let's jump into the ingredients. The first ingredient I'm going to share with you today, and this is a tropical fruit and it is called noni. OK, so this is noni. And when you first pick this off the tree, because I, I literally picked this hand, picked this one off the tree. When you first pick this off the tree, it is more of a green. OK, so more of a, a darker green or a lighter green. Uh, than this and then it slowly but surely becomes translucent okay as you see here once it becomes translucent you'll start to sort of have a smell okay and i'll tell you noni <laughs> noni smells like aged cheese okay it smells like 
blue cheese or cottage cheese. It has that like fermented smell that comes with it. Now that is where most of the medicinal properties are gonna come from when it comes to yoni, okay? Now the other benefits, here are some of the benefits of yoni. Yoni has over a hundred vitamins and minerals, okay? So it's packed with vitamins and minerals and trace elements and phytonutrients that are gonna flood your body with nourishment. So that's the first benefit of this noni, all right? The other thing is noni is antibacterial, is antiviral, is antifungal, is anti-inflammatory uh, as well too. And it also helps to fight against um, cancer and tumors, okay? So you got noni with that, okay? So this is gonna be your first ingredient, the noni. And all you need is one of these small, um, this is like a small, medium-sized noni right here, okay? And another trick, if you can actually handpick your own noni, and these, the noni is more indigenous to the Caribbean and uh, places around the equator. And so uh, even South Florida as well too. So you can get it from those, those places, all right? But if you could pick your noni, you can actually throw one of the leaves from the tree into the recipe as well too, okay? Because the leaves are actually medicinal on the yoni tree as well. So you got yoni, all right? The second ingredient, the second ingredient, you need two key limes, okay? Two key limes, okay? These are key limes, not limes, okay? So these are much smaller. And what you'll notice is that these are also loaded with seeds as well too. So you're gonna need two key limes. And why key limes? Key limes are loaded with minerals, okay? And they're alkalizing to the body as well too, all right? So whenever you're in a, wanna build immunity, whenever you wanna fight off disease, whatever you want to alkalize the body, put these key limes into your, your, your herbal tea in the morning, uh, put it in your water, okay? It'll alkalize the water and alkalize the tea as well too. Okay, so that's why we're adding the key limes in there. So two key limes, all right? The third ingredient. The third ingredient is gonna be the soursop, okay? And as you guys know, on the farm, we have about 25 trees of soursop, and this is soursop. And soursop um, is, when I tell you, this is one of the most medicinal fruits in the world. And it's not only medicinal and nutritious, but it's also delicious. It's one of my favorite fruit. Soursop to me tastes like a um, like when I was a kid. I used to eat these uh, sour apple Jolly Ranchers. That's what soursop tastes like to me. All right. So you got soursop, and soursop has been proven in clinical trials to be to shrink tumors and be anti-cancerous as well too. And it's loaded with fiber, and it also helps with blood sugar, and it also is loaded with a lot of minerals and vitamins as well too. Okay, so you can see a common thing here. Loaded with minerals and vitamins, loaded with fiber, and also helps with the immune system to fight against tumors. Okay, so we got three ingredients. Noni, key limes, soursop. Okay, the fourth optional ingredient is going to be elderberry. Okay, elderberry syrup. If you want to add some elderberry syrup in there, you're more than welcome. Now, here's, here's the caveat that I'll give you. This noni can be very bitter. <laughs> As a matter of fact, people, people who have had noni juice growing up, maybe their mother or their grandparents gave it to them. They know, like, when you see noni coming your way, like, uh, the kids go the other way, okay? But it is very nutritious for the body. But like I said, you not only smell the fermented taste as I'm holding it here close to my face, but um, like I said before, uh, it could have a bitter taste to it as well too, all right? So just a fear warning, okay? But again, this is about health as well. It's not about how it tastes, it's about how it act, what it actually does for your body. That's the most important thing you need to understand. So those are our key ingredients. Now what I'm gonna do is start to load this over, cut these up and load this over to the blender, okay? The ingredient is sour sop. Crack it open. You gotta see what that looks like on the inside there. Take out all the white pulp, put that inside of here. Ingredient is the noni, AKA duppy sour sop. 
They call it dumpy soursop in Jamaica. So you can see it kind of looks like a soursop on the inside. Whole thing, season all just like the soursop goes in it. Next ingredient, you have it here, key limes, okay? See the seeds, everything goes in the inside. Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So not everything, but the juice goes on the inside. You can include these seeds as well, no problem. Same thing with these two as well. Let's go. Earlier, I talked to you about including potentially elderberry syrup, okay? But what I'm gonna do is put coconut water on the inside. Some of you, this is gonna be a little bit harsh for the noni, so what you could do is cut it with the coconut water. And as you can see here, this is just the pulp or the meat of the coconut. You can eat that. And then we got coconut water. I'm just gonna pour that on the inside. Now all we gotta do is blend. All right, so now that it's been blended, you can see it here, and what you'll notice is the specks. Those specks are the seeds. Now you can keep those in there, okay? So they can get the fiber and the nutrients from the seed, or you can use a nut bag and strain this and get all of the juice out, all right? What I'm gonna do is half and half. I'm gonna keep half of it in its original form, and then what I'm gonna also do is make a juice out of the rest of it, okay? All right, so I got the original content of the smoothie, got the nut bag. We're gonna pour this inside of the nut bag, just like that, get everything in there. All right, seal the bag up. Well, it's not even necessary. We're gonna take the bag content and just squeeze. That gets everything in there, okay? Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And that is how you get your juice, okay? And leave behind most of the fiber. So again, this is called the fruit juice of life. Noni, AKA Duppy Soursop. Soursop itself, key limes. And as I told you before, I added a little bit of coconut water as an option, you can use elderberry, okay? And you can kind of see how the sediments are left behind there after I squeeze, okay? That's what it's all about, getting everything out of there. Leaving just that behind. This is your fruit juice of life, the final product. Again, I'm just gonna go through the ingredients again. You have noni, which is known as duppy soursop, okay? Duppy meaning ghosts because it becomes very translucent like I showed you before. Uh, soursop itself, okay? With the seeds and everything, but then I put it through the strainer. Then you have the key limes. I did two key limes, okay? And I squeezed them into the, the um, blender. And then I added some coconut water, okay? Like I told you before. Now. I'm gonna taste this in a second, I'll let you know how it tastes. And then if you want it sweeter, I'm gonna give you an alternative, so hold tight. Not bad, not bad, but I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot of people don't like the, the aftertaste of the noni. But again, that's where all the healing comes from. So here's the thing. If you want to sweeten yours up, you can add some dates to it, okay? Maybe two to three dates. It'll make it really sweet and it'll be just fine for you. It'll actually be really tasty if you add the dates to it. So um, this is fine for me. Like this is actually perfect for me. And this drink is perfect for the winter time that transition from the summer, fall to the winter to build the immune immune system. It's really great to load the body with all of the things it needs like antioxidants, minerals, vitamins, things of that nature. It's anti-inflammatory, it's antibacterial, it's antifungal, uh, anti-parasitic in many ways as well too. And again, really good at cancer prevention as well too with the combination of both the noni and the soursop, okay? 
along with the key limes and now the, the coconut water as well too. You add the dates in there and now you're loading it up with even more potassium, okay? So this is your fruit juice of life, okay? Comment below if you wanna try it. Comment below if you tried noni or sour stop below as well too. And if you've enjoyed this type of video, let me know. I'll get in the kitchen again and do another video like this and uh, maybe share another recipe with you guys because as you know, I have a recipe and cookbook with all plant-based recipes. So make sure you check that out on my website, drbobbyprice.com. But this is the fruit juice of life. If you wanna build your immune system, fortify yourself, especially going into the winter, this is the perfect juice, okay? Perfect juice of life. Cheers. Thanks for watching this video, but be sure to check the next video out that's right here. But everything I talk about is how do we take a holistic and natural approach to healing other than a man-made approach? And also, how do we prevent dis-ease in the body as well too? Because, you know, they say,